Hey guys, good morning. I think it's still morning. Um, it's, uh, 11 o'clock, yes, technically still morning. It is Sunday, March 22nd. Yep. Yeah. Um, we are in the car headed to the kids' house, um, which we can do and maintain social distance because they live with us. And there's no, gonna be nobody else there. So, yeah. We're gonna go help them with some more demo and bring them some lunch and all of that. We do need to probably brave one or two markets on the way home this afternoon and try to fly and find flour and sugar because nobody has any. My grocery delivery came this morning and I wasn't surprised to not see it in there. Um, I don't know. So we might, if we're brave enough and not too tired, we might stop and try to find that. I don't know what else to do about that. Anyway, um, anyway, we're going to go help the kids and we will bring you with us if we can. And I think we're tearing a, a wheelchair ramp out today. Yep, the old a wheelchair ramp. The old owners were owner, or at least one of them was um, handicapped. Um, at least one of the people live there because there's wheelchair ramps all over the place. So um, we're going to take out the one in the front porch. And um, I think the boys are going to try to get out some old bush stumps. We took the bushes out yesterday. So. And then we're going to power wash the front of the house. Yeah. It needs it really bad. So. All right. Moss, a lot of dirt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a little neglected. So. All right. It needs some TLC. It does. It's going to be a cute house when it's done though. The neighbors are nice. The neighbors are very nice. Yep. So, so far, and they're happy to see the kids there fixing up the house. That was the impression we've gotten so far. So, anyway. But we learned that uh, that uh, <clears throat> if we park in the street, we have to be 15 feet away from the mailboxes. Otherwise, the postal lady gets very really upset. She wasn't too happy. No. <laughs> at at uh, your my, mom and dad. My mom and dad were there. Yes. Um, again, maintaining social distance because they don't live with us. So, we kept a few feet apart the whole time they were there because my parents are in their 80s so uh, but dad insisted on driving down from where they live in Washington State and changing the locks um, and um, <laughs> so, the, funny, the funny part about it is that they parked their car their van in front of the house which was only about maybe five to ten feet from the mailbox yeah she was not happy about and she that. was not happy she had, to put the, she had to put her car in reverse and go around it yeah and that she didn't yeah, she had to do extra work. She, she wasn't too happy work. about that. So, so. All right, that's Living it for learning. now. I know, right? That's it for now. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so we got done at the kids' house and went and ran a very minimal number of errands. There were a few things we couldn't get by ordering groceries online. So we chose a few sort of out-of-the-way, lesser-known food shopping spots. They were virtually empty, so it was a good choice. There was hardly anybody there. We were able to get what we needed to and stay safe and found everything I needed, shockingly enough. So we did that and then we came home and put everything away. Of course, re-sanitized the entryway and the kitchen countertops, wash our hands. Now we're out for a walk, getting some fresh air, trying to maintain our social distance which is quite challenging. Oh, baseball diamond. Ten of children. Very cool. Yeah, you can't go to the park, so you bring a park, bring, bring a park to your house. I love it. So we're all making it work. Or at least most of us, right? And those that aren't, y'all need to get on the ball. Because the longer you take to do your part, the longer it takes to nip this thing in the bud, the more annoyed the rest of us are going to get at you. So anyway, I'm going to get some steps in and do what I can and then go home and put my knee up because my knee actually does hurt today. But I got to organize the kids' garage. They assigned the two of us jobs when we got there and both of them said, you're so good at organizing, can you organize the tools in the garage? I was so happy to do that for them. That was cool. <laughs> so it's all done and it's looking good. Slowly but surely it's looking like home for them. So we're happy about that. It's a crappy time to, in the world to be doing what they're doing, but what are you going to do, right? 
All right, I'll be back. Never thought I'd start off a vlog this way. Holy cow. So it is Monday morning. This is still morning. It's not morning. It's 1246. I spent the morning uh, working on this pattern. Yeah, let me, talk. let me take this off. Um, working on this pattern for this face mask. It's not my video. I'll link the original video in the description below. I did have to fiddle with the um, sizing of the pattern a bit to fit my face. And um, I worked out how to get a nose wire in there. So I just took 20 gauge wire that I had. It's jewelry wire. It's probably not waterproof. So I made it so that it can come out. I made the wire so that I wrapped uh, the little ends in some tape. Um, I have actually have hockey tape, but <laughs> whatever tape you have, I wrapped the little ends in some tape so that before I wash the mask, I can pull the wire out and set that aside and sanitize that a different way because it's just jewel 20 gauge jewelry wire and I don't think it's probably um, waterproof. I, doubt, I seriously doubt it. Um, I had to make the pattern um, when you download it, she's got a link in the, her video description and the video is not in English. So you have to kind of just work it out. But I made the pattern about an inch wider and about an inch taller, um, than recommended. And then for the ear loops, I only made them seven inches. Um, because when they, I did the recommended, um, it was too big and I, you want it to fit tight. Um, and the pocket on the inside fits my existing PM. Uh, 25 um, charcoal filter mask. It's not perfect, but anyway, this is better than nothing. So I'll probably be making a couple more of those, but now that, that I've got the pattern worked out, I can clean up my mess and take a break and have some lunch, maybe. All right, I'll be back. So in case you can't hear it in my voice, my allergies are going haywire. No, it's not the virus. It's allergies. I'm very mucusy. <laughs> uh, anyway, I didn't think I was going to make so many masks today, but I did make six of them. Um, and once, you know, after you did the, well, actually I made seven. Uh, the first one was sort of a trial failure slash, it's too small for um, me. So I resized the pattern and once I got the kinks worked out, then making them was pretty easy. My sister knew I was making them. She's like, can you send me and my husband, Phil, her husband's Philip. Can you send me a Philip one? So anyway, I'm sending them some masks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I need to get the mail. I still have to edit the vlog. I haven't done that today. The kids are over at their house doing some more demo. It's like the one thing they can do right now while we're all doing the stay at home thing. Um, yeah, we're going to eat dinner in a little bit. And then I haven't turned the computer off yet because I'm thinking I might um, go back upstairs after I eat some dinner and have some water or some tea and edit the vlog tonight so I don't have to do it tomorrow. I did get a call from physical therapy for my knee. I haven't been going because of the virus and because I have asthma and I'm you know susceptible. Um, they're doing telehealth um, for that so I will be getting some coaching on my exercises via telehealth tomorrow afternoon. I don't know what that means but I guess we'll find out. All right that's it for the moment. Okay I'll so we decided to take advantage of the fact that most people are eating dinner right now. So we have no problem maintaining social distance and it's still light out because we're headed into spring and summer. Is, uh, yeah, Spaz is going crazy, AKA Lily. So we're gonna go get a little walk in. I don't know how far we'll get, it's kind of chilly. Even though it's sunny, it's kind of chilly out, but my allergies are going haywire. I've got a cough drop in my mouth. It's allergies, people, it's not anything else. Anyway, that's it for the moment. We're gonna go get some steps and I'll get some pictures and you, you know the routine by now. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning. It's just before lunch. Uh, which I was sitting and eating <laughs> after doing a few things upstairs and it just started pouring rain outside. We just had the leaky window fixed, so let's hope it holds. <laughs> um, what a crazy morning, what a crazy world. 
anyway, um, as you all saw, if you're watching this, I made a bunch of masks yesterday that will hold my carbon filters that I already wear because of my asthma. They're not perfect uh, protection against the virus, um, but they're, in my opinion, for me, with my health issues, they're better than nothing. The new masks do fit very tightly around the face and nose to provide a tight seal. Um, there's four layers of cotton and then the carbon filter right in front of the nose and mouth. Um, it's not an N95 mask, but it's what I'm going to wear. Um, and if nothing else, it prevents me from touching my face, which is a good thing. Because I don't really believe um, that we don't need to wear masks. I'm not, I'm not so sure I believe that. So that's a personal opinion. You can debate it in the comments below if you want. Um, anyway, I did also film a kids art video. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to make a video about the masks. I'm getting a lot of questions about the mask I ma masks I made and how I made them and... Uh, so I'll think about it today. I may not, I probably won't film it today. I'll film it tomorrow. I'll... Hey guys, so we're out for our evening stroll. Got a big giant hair on the phone. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're out for our evening stroll. It looks like it's going to rain. See, see that over my head? Anyway, we'll see how far we get. And I got the mask video done edited it's up on youtube uh i got another kids art video done i didn't do one yesterday because i was too busy making masks anyway it's all done what else um i got my telehealth physical therapy session my first one done that was interesting i need to order a couple of things to do exercises at home when we get back I also am probably going to need a big giant cup of tea, so yeah. All right, let's go get some walking in and I'll be back. Hey guys, it's March 25th, I think. I think so. Let's see. Yep, it's the 25th of March. It's 2.25 p.m. It's Wednesday. I spent the morning chatting with some friends and clearing off my desk, which was like piled I renewed two listings in the Etsy shop. I got stencil inventory in um, from the person who, uh, the gal who manufactures them for me in North Carolina. And um, I got a bunch of the mail that was sitting on my desk done uh, and ready to go. Some of it's out already. Some of it my daughter's gonna drop off for me. And I got an eyeball done in my eyeball journal. And not much else. I'm waiting for the White House again. I don't know that they're going to say anything new, but we'll see. Um, my eyeball is drying. I want to, my goal is this week actually to finish the eyeball journal. So I'm going to try to do that. And also I need to start filming for April, but I think I'm going to wait until like Saturday and Sunday to do that because there'll be nobody in the house but me. So I think that's a good time. Maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. No sewing today. Um, I need to do something for the kids art series, but I haven't done that yet either. So we'll see. <laughs> it's just a weird Wednesday, right? Every day is weird right now, right? It's not just me. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, we're going out on our evening stroll. One of the few things right now I feel okay with doing unmasked We'll see how long that lasts. I don't know. We usually don't run into any, if many people. So, and everybody's really keeping their distance. So, should be fine. We'll see. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Thursday, March 26th, I think. 1.21 p.m. or so. I've uh, been working on some art projects this morning. Paperwork, social media stuff. Laundry dishes, you know, the normal routine. Or as normal as it can be, considering the world circumstances, right? Sorry, that was my neighbor. She, obviously, I'm in a tank top. She's like, aren't you cold? It's about 50 degrees, I think. Um, while I'm not warm, I'm not cold either. So I don't, I don't know what to say about that. 
Anyway, obviously we're out for our walk. It's a little chilly, but that's good because there's not that many people out. out. And that means we don't have to worry as much about social distance. Um, the one good thing about the coronavirus is I've been getting re-in touch, reacquainted with some friends I haven't spoken to in a while, for sure since I moved. I just got done texting with one, Sandra, uh, and she's in California. She's in San Jose, which they were, they're having a big problem. Uh, she's all good. Her family's all good. She's going to be a grandmama. It's congratulations, Sandra. Uh, anyway, that's a benefit getting in. You have time to get in touch with people. Robo caller. I am not answering that. You know what that is? Red Cross or spam? Phone spam. Anyway. You want to talk to you about your extended warranty on your vehicle? Yeah. No, thank you. You want to talk to you about your credit card? No, or they want to know if I've taken it in for the um, recall notice. Right now we're under coronavirus, stay at home. How am I going to take it in? <laughs> anyway, we're out for a walk with crazy pants. Trying, yeah, trying unsuccessfully to keep her from eating all the grass around. It's not really working. Anyway, we're going to go home and have some tea. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's Friday the 27th of March and I am outside, it's only 46 degrees, it's raining a little bit, and I have no coat on, I know. I have been filming a little bit for April. Uh, I just started that a few minutes ago. I'll be working on that over the weekend and hopefully trying to get all of that done tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm gonna have a, just a filming day tomorrow. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, we are just staying stuck in, doing our bit, only going out when we need to, and when we do go out, making sure we're taking precautions to stay clean and sanitized, not touch my face, um, which is one of the many reasons I will probably start wearing a mask when we go out in public. Um, and not that that's gonna be too often, but yeah. And yeah, all that stuff. Anyway. I am working on clear coating all the rocks I painted yesterday. Um, they're turning out so cute. I can't really do anything else on the art table until those are done because they're taking up all the table space, but they'll get done today. I can't wait. And uh, once the last coat is on there, I can transfer them to a drying, a cookie sheet for drying to the drying rack, and then I can work on something else. Like, and I, I need to do another eyeball, so. <sighs> what are you all up to today? I hope you're staying busy and creative while you're stuck in and using the fact that you have to be home to your advantage and to do some things you've been putting off. Reading a book, creative projects, spending time with family, whatever it is, there's always something, right? All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back.
Hey guys, I thought I'd take a break in filming for April here to um, vlog a little bit. It's Saturday, I was gonna say Saturday morning. It's not Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, 1.23 p.m., March 28th. Um, Rebecca and Polly and Bob are over at um, the new house. The kids um, bought a house finally if you don't know, and um, it's a fixer. So they're in the midst of um, getting it fit to live in. There you go. They're doing some reconstruction, uh, deconstruction, decon demolition. Um, they need to put in a new bathroom before they can move in. And Polyus's dad is in construction, thankfully. Um, so the kids and Bob are gonna demolish some things. And then as soon as uh, Polly's parents can head up this way from California. They're going to put things back together. However, we're in the midst of the pandemic, right? So it might be a while, but uh, in the meantime, there's lots to demolish and the kids are going to do what they can and we'll see how far we get. Um, they have, they can stay here. I mean, this was completely, none of this is planned, right? So anyway, uh, I have I decided to stay home uh, between my asthma and my knee. I am not good at demolition anymore. So I am here and I've been filming for April while they're all out of the house. And the dog is totally not happy with me because I'm not downstairs on the couch. She's down there and she keeps coming up here to find me. Uh, hold on a second. There she is, curled up on the sofa. Yeah, she wasn't too happy when I came upstairs, but I still have stuff to do. Um, the good news is I got, let's see, how many videos did I get filmed? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, no, five. I'm about to do number six, um, for April. Um, so that's good. I do have a list of things that I would like to do and or commitments. So I really don't have a ton of commitments this year, every month. Of course, I have my creative year and then, um, I have art joy, art joy of sharing, and every now and then I have um, more digital background swaps with Bea Grob and her friends. Other than that, there's a few other things that I've been doing. Um, I've been doing a journaling with balance series and uh, working on the Four Faces journal. I don't know that I'm going to film those two today, but I've filmed everything else I wanted to today. I also want to film another paperclip video. Um, I might do those during the week next week. And I want to work some more in my Jean Haynes book, which is downstairs, which I have to read yet. So I'm going to film, um, what am I going to film? Junk and art. Uh, yep. You want to see what I did? You need to watch the video. <laughs> anyway, it'll come up sometime in, in June. I don't think we'll actually be creating things as much as talking through things that I've saved and why I've saved them and what I intend to do with them. And yeah, doing a little cleaning, there's a hint. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna film that video, then I'm gonna go check the mail, and I'm gonna sit and try this vitamin water. What is this, Aki Blueberry Pomegranate? Um, you know, this is a time in history when things are just completely out of whack, right? Between the pandemic and everything, um, you can't get the groceries you're normally used to. And so, I, you know, it's all about doing what we need to, staying safe and trying new things. It's an opportunity to try new things. So instead of getting my regular water, which I couldn't get or drink, I got some vitamin water. And yeah, so, you know. All right, that's it for the moment. I'm going to get things done and I will be back. Hey guys, I have finished filming most of April um seven or eight videos or something there's a couple others i kind of want to film that i might do but i don't have to do them today um i don't even have to do them next week um i just need to get um the first couple videos edited and the vlog and i'll do that all um tomorrow or monday i am a little bit behind in the kids art drawing series um so i might film two or three drawings tomorrow. Yeah, something like that. I might do a little painting one. If there's anything that you guys would like to see for kids art while your kids are home and don't have anything to do, let me know. We could do a little painting one. We haven't done that yet. We've just been doing drawing and stuff. Anyway, let me know. 
Uh, I'm going to sit and watch some YouTube. And the kids are at the house still. They have torn out the bathroom. I will put a picture here of Polly is standing in what is now the empty shower area. <laughs> um, so things are progressing there. And uh, yeah, <sighs> Lily is not happy because everybody's gone except me. And yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> so anyway, I will finish my week here. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing when they all get home, if anything. No idea. But I'm going to sit and I'm going to work on a little bit of more artwork downstairs. I would like to finish the eyeball journal um, this weekend. So I'm going to be working on that. And I've got two pages left um, for eyeballs. And so, yeah, that would be good. And then next week we can start on the next little journal. I think we're going to do lips, maybe. Maybe. Um... Yeah, it's been an interesting week. We're going to have a lot of interesting weeks going forward. Um, the new reality is just weird. I'm not, I know I'm not the only one that thinks so. I'm not going to even ask. What are you doing to stay safe, do what you need to, and stay sane during this crazy time? I'd love to hear. Let's start a conversation. Uh, leave something in the comments below or go over to my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, and start a conversation over there. Uh, I am doing daily drawings and always, and I do have a uh, list of words to do art by or drawings by prompted words for kids. Um, I will link that in the description below. And I'd love to see what you are doing with any of them and what little projects are you maybe doing around the house, things that you're catching up on that you've like let go. I've got a lot of those, so I have plenty to keep me busy. But what about you? I'd love to know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links and places to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. And... The most important thing, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, do your due diligence with social distance, and go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.